If you're watching this video, you're in one of two camps. Either number one, you're just starting out and you're about to run your first PPC campaign. You want to know how to avoid failure. You want to make sure it makes money, right? Or two, you have been running PPC campaigns, but you just can't get over that 2x return on ad spend hurdle and you can't really figure out why. Well, in this video, I'm going to share two of the most common things that we see at my agency, Good Monster. There's reasons why PPC campaigns cannot clear that hurdle. So let's get into it. Hey everyone, I'm John Timmerman and I talk about the world's most exciting marketing and sales and business strategies so that both you and I can grow our businesses better. Today we're talking about two common strategies that we see missing all the time from PPC campaigns that can quite literally make you millions of dollars of return on ad spend. But before we get into it, don't forget to visit my website, jtimmerman.com, where I outline all these strategies and more, as well as give away free templates and kits that you can use in your business to improve your sales and marketing, things like sales scripts and marketing copy, all that good stuff over there. So check it out, jtimmerman.com. All right. So PPC, so we're talking Google ads, Facebook ads, any sort of pay-per-click uh, performance advertising. There's two things that are missing from, uh, from a lot of campaigns and a lot of clients that we talk to. Number one is a lack of a behavioral analysis. Not a competitive analysis, not a keyword analysis, behavioral analysis. Now I want you to picture a Venn diagram, right? You got a big circle here, a big circle here, and a big circle here. And in the middle is where they all kind of merge into one common section, right? So I want you to picture that those are your audiences. Over here, you've got a 45-year-old woman. Over here, you've got a 35-year-old man. And over down here, you've got a 55-year-old couple, let's say. And what you want to do is you want to find the common thread between those audiences in the middle because if you can run ads to that section with that message, you're going to improve your PPC results. You're going to decrease your cost per click. You're going to decrease your CAC. You're going to increase your click through, your conversions, right? If you can speak to that audience, that specific problem that they have, all right, you're going to improve your PPC results. So how do you do behavioral analysis? If you're just starting out, You've got to do the homework. You've got to do the legwork. You've got to do the surveys. You've got to do the interviews. You've got to talk to people. You have to do focus groups. You've got to do the research uh, to get the commonalities. You've got to interview different people, all your customer audiences. You've got to do that work to get that behavioral analysis up front. If you've been running PPC for a while, you still should do that work. All right, but you can also analyze your existing data, your website data, your social media data, your email data, your Amazon sales data, your Shopify data, whatever it is you have, you need to compile that all into a spreadsheet to find the common threads. And a lot of times these common threads are cross sections of your audiences, but the common thread themselves are pain points, perspectives, trigger points, those are the things that you're going to find and you're going to run ads, not only targeting that thing, because sometimes you can't target that thing, but addressing it in the creative. That's the key. All right. So upfront behavioral analysis are huge. They can be time consuming. They could be expensive if you pay somebody else to do it. But if you do that, you're going to save quite literally hundreds of thousands, if not more of dollars in ad spend and increase your sales and conversions by that much or more. Okay, and the second most common thing that we see missing, even from huge companies, even from uh, some of our biggest clients that come on board with us, are missing dedicated landing pages for their specific ad campaigns and audiences. So what this looks like is you run a Google ad, you run a Facebook ad, and whatever it looks like and whatever it says, you want to align your landing page with the same exact language, same exact visuals, same exact trigger points, same exact problems. You want to align the customer journey so that it is seamless and it's sort of unconscious. When somebody already loves the ad and they click on it because it is talking to a pain point that they have, when they land on the landing page, you want it to be seamless. You want it to look and feel and, and appear just like the ad itself so that they're unconsciously already in you know, they're already accepting your invitation to come pay attention to your thing. 
But oftentimes we see brands that run their ads to category pages or the worst is the homepage, right? Running an ad to the homepage because there's so many distractions there. So when you have a dedicated landing page, a lot of times you want to have as few amount of distractions as possible. Uh, and in a lot of cases, you even remove the menu altogether so that there's no options to explore around and get distracted. So design your landing pages with your ad, your audience, your campaign in mind, and make sure there's very little distractions. And then finally, make sure you're measuring everything, the heat maps, the click tracking, so that you can analyze how people are responding to that page. And you might be able to move buttons and change colors and change copy to improve your conversion results. But the second strategy is always design dedicated landing pages uh, for as, as kind of niche as you possibly can for your audience, your products, your message, all right? Speak to that ad with the landing page so you make the conversion funnel nice and seamless. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching the video. If you found it helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button, and share this with your team. If you have a marketing team or you have a, a, a team that's trying to do your marketing, share it with them. Hopefully it'll help a little bit. And if you need any help, don't forget, uh, I run an agency. It's called Good Monster. You can search thegoodmonster.com. Check us out. If you need any help, we're here for you. Just fill out the contact form and somebody on our team will, uh, will get in touch with you. So thanks. And until the next video, have a great day.